Once you've established your display units, you'll also want to control the grid settings. The grid is set to an arbitrary size currently, and the spacing between the grid lines is arbitrary as well. We want to control that so that, for example, we can look at the grid and instantly determine the scale of objects. To change the grid settings, one way to do that is to right-click on any one of these magnet icons here on the main toolbar. Right-click on that and you get the Grid and Snap Settings dialog. Go to the Home Grid tab and we will see the current state of the grid. What we're seeing here now is that the distance between two adjacent grid lines is 25.4 centimeters. Let's bring that down to one centimeter. Type in a one and press Enter. And now we have a lot tighter spacing to the grid. We can see that here in our orthographic views. It looks like our grid disappeared in the perspective view. It's still there, it's just very small and it's underneath that plant. We can extend the grid out farther in the perspective view by adjusting this value, perspective view grid extent. I'll set it to a value of 200 and press enter. And now the grid is 200 units or 200 centimeters from center to edge. There's also a field here labeled Major lines every nth grid line. What does that mean? Well, the grid spacing are the so-called minor lines. And then we can have a differently colored line for the major lines. And currently it's set up for a major line every 10th grid line. We'll have a minor grid line, and then every 10th minor grid line will be a major line. It'll be a different color. And I'm going to leave it that way, actually. That's a pretty good setting. So with major lines every tenth, we can go ahead and close this dialog. And now let's dolly forward and back here in our perspective view and take a closer look at this. I'll use the middle mouse button to position, and I can use the wheel to dolly forward. And you can see here, as we get closer, the grid automatically subdivides. We back out. The grid kind of adapts to our distance. And that's cool, but it's also kind of problematic because if we're way out here, then we might be fooled by thinking that that's a centimeter here, especially if there's no object in view. We get really confused by that. There are no numbers on the grid in 3ds Max. And so this is not actually a centimeter. We don't actually know what it is. The only way to know what the real distance is here between two grid lines is to dolly forward as much as possible until those lines stop subdividing. All right, so at this distance here, the grid is no longer subdividing. And that's telling me here that that's actually a centimeter. Now our major grid lines are showing up here, but they're really hard to see with the default color scheme in 3ds Max. But if you look really closely, you can see that the minor lines are a tiny bit brighter than the major lines next to them. We're gonna change up the viewport background and the grid colors later in the course in order to make it a lot easier to see that. All right, cool, that's how we set up our home grid.